for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Hi, everyone. This is Brian Anderson at the table along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Allie LaForce joins us from the sidelines. All right, check it out. Golden State's opening lineup. Wiggins and Green hold down the forward spots. Curry and Heel to the sharp shooting backcourt. And it's Jackson Davis in its center. And for Los Angeles, Russell and Reeves teaming up in the backcourt. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the three, the small forward. Both of these teams tonight with a fair share of veterans on their roster spread. Yeah, a lot of guys coming into this one, B.A., just a real threat from the in-between area. LeBron wastes no time firing when he gets to that spot. Green against James. Pass to Curry from downtown. And he buries his first look. When Curry gets a look that's good, he is automatic. There is almost no stopping him. Well, Richard, with the relocations and the floor he covers, Curry is still an anomaly with his conditioning. Oh, he's got an off-season program that would make other NBA stars tap out, including myself. His conditioning is amongst the best of all time. It wears on you as a defender. And Davis slams it home. It's so hard trying to keep Davis off the glass. He's just so big, so strong, and has the athleticism. And here's Curry for three. Hachimura with a rebound. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of three from the floor. James, a screen on Wiggins. Shoots from 12. And it's Hachimura missing. Golden State has gone one of two from three-point land so far. Offensive rebound. Here's Jackson Davis. And the layup is good off the glass. He's got a knack for those putbacks, so you have to be aware of that defensively. Get a body on him. Outside Reeves. James, outside. Here's Davis. And the layup is good. Davis has got his second basket of the game. This is the defensive intensity you have to have against Davis inside, but he still powers through it. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian, Anthony Davis is letting it fly. He said, the way that teams are playing me, I've been getting back to the mid-range. It's an easier shot instead of fighting the double team, so that's all it is, continuing to trust it and shoot it. Brian, we've seen that jumper be a real weapon for him. Yeah, that's a good call, Allie. Thanks. RJ, it's hard not to wonder what would have happened if the Lakers never traded for Russell Westbrook back in 2021. Well, they would have had a traditional style of a team. They would have kept Kuzma, KCP, and their 2021 first-round pick. They also would have been able to sign Alex Caruso. They could have kept their championship core together. The Warriors trailing. Healed up top. Hachimura covering. Here's Curry, and there's the rejection. James inside, working on Green. James can't get it to go. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. And it's Green with the ball for the Warriors. Back to Curry. Carries it. He's two for four in this game. He's a magician inside. Curry always finds a window. The Lakers have gone three of eight so far. Outside Russell. It's stolen by Curry. In transition, here come the Warriors. Woo! His energy is unmatched. And all of a sudden, that man was just on the other end. Wow. Lakers trail by three. James deciding where to go with it. With four on the clock. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. We see this every night. He has the skill and versatility to keep a defense guessing. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one. Warriors ahead. They lead by one. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment.
So on the floor for Golden State to kick off the second quarter. Curry and Pods make up the backcourt. Kyle Anderson is out there with Kaminga. And it's Looney in at the five. The Lakers trail. Well, Grant, even though it looks like LeBron could play forever, he stated that he doesn't have much time left. Well, it's unbelievable that he sustained this level of excellence for as long as he has. I would be surprised if we see this type of longevity ever again. Five to shoot. Here's James. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Kevon Looney picks one up. What I appreciate about LeBron is how much he loves being a leader. He knows how much his teammates count on him. Los Angeles shooting their first free throws of the game now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, good from James. Well, we have a chance to hear from Shams Charania. He's calling in right now. Shams, great to have you on, bud. Thanks. Many consider this summer to be the most challenging field in the history of international basketball. Nevertheless, Team USA got it done in Paris. It's not getting any easier, but the star power of the U.S. men's team shined bright in the city of lights. Guys, a classic ending for a stacked U.S. roster. What a performance. Shams Charania with the report. Thanks, Shams. Nails it from beyond the arc. Defensively, you have to be aware of Curry in that set. Curry's gone two of three shooting from distance here. James passes to Vincent. Down low. Here's Vanderbilt. And Vanderbilt slams it in. He may not have that traditional power forward build, but his bounce, well, that kind of levels the playing field. Remember when people were questioning whether the Warriors were truly a dynasty, RJ? I do, and that was erased for good with that championship run in 2022. I still think that that is Steph's most important championship. That title cemented them as one of the all-time great teams of the last 50 years. Now here's Reddish. Now Vincent. Vanderbilt, a screen on Curry. Vincent passes to Vanderbilt. And he makes it. Yeah, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. The Lakers are looking to get downhill. Anthony Davis said we try to attack the basket and live in the paint. That's part of our identity, our DNA. It's getting to the line and guys catching rhythms like that and then playing from there. KYG, know your game. They do that well, Allie. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. You know, Grant, after losing in the first round last season, it felt like changes were inevitable for the Lakers. Yeah, making the playoffs isn't enough for that franchise. They are all about championship success, and anything short of that is a failure. Free throw drops for Anderson. And we've got a timeout call by J.J. Redick. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. One fifty-seven left in the second. James passes to Reeves. James, a screen on heel. And he's going for the... Oh, a huge finish. A.D., my goodness. Throw it high and watch Davis fly. Wow. Now here's heel. Yet to see a basket. Wiggins outside. 18 feet out. Benson grabs a miss. I think the defense will live with him taking mid-range jumpers, but maybe just a little bit more resistance. And that 
one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. So LeBron will go to the free throw line. It's going to go on Draymond Green. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Los Angeles. Well, they're off to a good start getting it inside and scoring at close range. Solid fundamentals so far in this one. They've also been quick to set up their teammates, wasting no time making the extra pass for the open look. And how about LeBron? Even if he's no longer the clear-cut best player in the league, he can still take over a game, RJ. Oh, make no mistake. He is still the best when he needs to be. Absolutely has a switch that gets flipped when he needs it. He's not on for 48 minutes, but he can definitely turn it on for a few. And again, it's the Warriors missing. The Lakers lead by four. They are looking really strong offensively. Yeah, just terrific momentum. Let's see if they can keep it up. James against Green. And the shot falls short that time. The Warriors have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Draymond! Oh, such a force inside! This is how skilled Draymond is at handling the rock. And he's able to create for himself. Vincent outside. On the wing, Reeves. Guarded by Heel. Reeves against Heel. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Hachimura from long range. Jackson Davis grabs a miss. Reeves against Heel. Right side, Curry. Misses in close. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. The Lakers on top. They're up by two. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. 17. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. You got to like what we're seeing from LeBron James. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Two-point game. Richard, it comes as no surprise that Golden State is routinely at the top of the league for made threes. That's how this team has been constructed. They are custom built to rain threes on you, and we've seen it be very, very effective. Russell and Reeves teaming up in the backcourt. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center, and it's Achimura in at the three. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Warriors trail by four. Pass to Jackson Davis. Green with the ball. Picked up by James to the inside. Oh, look at Wiggins. Takes the hit and finishes strong. Oh, get off of that, man. Wiggins is that dude. James finds Reeves. Davis with a screen on heel. From deep, Reeves. He can't get that one to fall. Well, the Warriors shooting efficiently. 50% so far. Curry against Russell. Poke loose. Here's Achimura. And it's slammed in by Achimura. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. Important two points. Not just on the scoreboard, but also for a little bit of momentum. I'm not sure what happened there. You just can't give away possessions in this league. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. 
Richard, it's nice to have the versatility of a guy like Hachimura equally comfortable at either forward position. Well, he's got the size and strength of a modern-day NBA power forward, but he also has the ability to stretch the floor and knock down a three. That's a nice combo. Yeah, inside the paint, Russell stays so nimble, helping him get such a high percentage look. Pass to Curry. Let's the three fly. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got six rebounds now in the game. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. See, right there, you know you have to foul LeBron James because you just have no chance to stop him. Well, Richard, we know how decorated AD was early on in his career. What can we expect from him moving forward? Oh, he was getting defensive player of the year and MVP votes back then. If he can get back to that level, he's going to be an absolute focal point for a long time coming. Richard, in 2024, D'Angelo Russell set the Lakers record for most three-pointers in a single season. Yes, 226 threes, surpassing Van Exel, a record that stood for almost 20 years. Russell was also very efficient, shooting a career high on 42% of those threes. Warriors trail by seven. Wiggins passes to Green. Outside Pajemski. Green with a screen on James. And Davis with the block. And this is how AD led the league in block shots. It's not just his wingspan, but it's his awareness, his basketball IQ when it comes to reading the game. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense pays. And Steve Kerr calls timeout. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. A minute and a half left to play in the third quarter here. Outside, green. Pass to heel. Green, a screen. Will it go? Heel passes to green. Using his post moves to get the two points. Green's got his second basket. Look at how effectively green uses his body, disrupting the defense with the screen and making some room for himself. Davis with a screen on Green. Here's James. Doesn't go that time. Green with the defensive effort. Warriors trail by seven. Outside Pajemski. And Davis with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Jonathan Kaminga. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Here's Pajemski. And there it is for him. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Los Angeles leading by five. James passes to Achimura. Achimura sets a screen. Russell up top, defended by Pajemski. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, what courage from Russell. Going up and getting his shot all while being fouled. And he'll be shooting his first free throw. personal foul. Second team foul. Free throw is good from Russell. Here's Curry. Give him eight. Oh, Curry just weaving his way through traffic. Still knocks it in. 
Yeah, he was able to sneak it to the rim. Had enough room to get just like an easy layup. And James puts up a deep three. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Los Angeles leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. What has them in front right now? By and large, they're taking great shots. Back to the game after this break. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Woo. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. On the floor for the Warriors. Curry and Pods make up the backcourt. Kyle Anderson is out there with Green. And it's Kaminga in at the three, the small forward. Outside Pajemski. Green finds Curry. Off the mark there with a three. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Reddish passes to Russell. Inside. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Kaminga with a screen on Russell. Pass to Pajemski. Let's it go from deep. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got seven rebounds in the game. And he lobs it up to the... Yes, sir! LeBron James! Now look, a coach is going to trust LeBron James to just put up monster numbers because that's who he is. But it is nice to see him get into a nice groove like this. And Steve Kerr calls timeout. He's decided it's time to clarify the situation, leaving little... It's a big ask, but we'll see what happens. Back to you. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. And here's Curry for three. And the Warriors miss again. He's got a nice feel for that crossover, but you still have to finish. Russell against Heald. To the middle. Outside Reddish. Three-pointer. Clock at six. Crafty move. The rebound by Wiggins. That is a disaster. Honestly, I'm embarrassed for him. And Steve Kerr calls time out here. Looking to get everyone dialed in and engaged. Achimura is checked in for Reddish. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Outside Curry. This one for three. Curry rises up and hits the three. Yeah, most of the time you assume Curry's three ball is falling. That's how good he is. Kuminga against James. To the paint. Here's Davis. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. Yeah, it's easy to see why they go to him so often because they know they can depend on him to come through for him. Curry takes it in. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. So quick into the lane. Boy, Curry is lightning fast. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers? All you have to do is look at Shoot one two. stat, and that is their block numbers. It tells you how tight their D has been. They've been going out of their way to smother the defense. And we also can't ignore how relentless they've been on defense, flustering the opponent and generating a lot of steals. And so Curry nails both of them. 
There's a minute 54 left to play in the fourth. And here's James. James double teamed. Reeves, the pass to Achimura. Counted from distance. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now here's Russell. Here's James. Oh, LeBron sending it home. Yeah, just too much big boy basketball by LeBron James. Just bodying defenders inside. Curry against Russell. Curry, no good. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Hachimura from long range. The offensive rebound. Whoa! Can't out-muscle Davis inside. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Lakers. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently. And a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too. And what a huge performance it was for Anthony Davis. Honestly, I just love how relentless he is on the glass, a making a Take big a effort to pull the Two ball shots. in and give his teammates extra chances. First free throw is good, and that brings him within 10. That's good as he hits both shots. There's 48 seconds left in the game. Curry against Russell. Pass to Achimura. Oh, sweet move. And it's slammed in by Achimura. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. And here's Kaminga for three. And again, no good by Golden State. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Russell against Curry. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor. And they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. And that'll do it, folks. For Grant Hill, Richard Jefferson, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And as we leave you, here's a look at our player of the game.